now the we have talked already that uh, the viruses are the totally different from the other microorganisms which are prevalent or discovered until now so what are the distinguishing features of these viruses which differentiate them from the other microorganisms for example bacteria or for example the parasites we will just uh, for the introduction point of view hum koi char panch jo distinguishing features hain wo study karte hain uske baad aage detail mein chalenge single type of nucleic acid first of all the viruses are made up of just only single type of nucleic acid there are two types of nucleic acids one is called dna and other is called rna dna is deoxyribonucleic acid and the rna is ribonucleic acid so viruses are either made up of dna or they will be made up of or rna the viruses which are made up of dna viruses they are called the dna and uh, the others are called rna viruses so there are the viruses you know which is first of all from the if they are the dna viruses then there will be again maybe the single stranded dna or the double stranded just like the bacteria the simpler the dna viruses the, from the nucleic acid then the rna the rna will be again from for the machinery they will be rna viruses then they will be converted into dna as just like the their materials then the rna viruses can also be the double stranded viruses but they will not be called as dna viruses and then the single stranded just like the simple rna if they are single stranded viruses then they will be the positive they are again classified to the positive or the negative strands and similarly the dna will also be the both single stranded or double stranded rna double stranded viruses so a little bit about the structure of the viruses that uh, how simplest structure these are from all uh, from all the other microorganisms so only there is a uh, two things nucleic acid and protein which are the composed uh, viruses are composed of first of all is the envelope of the viruses which is made up of the pro uh, then the protein protein coat is present here it is the protein coat which is uh, just uh, enveloping the whole dna or rna materials which is uh, present inside the nucleus of the other organisms however here is only the dna is present these are the spikes spikes are very important from the viruses point of view because they need to cause the disease in other animals so, so these are the spikes which are help them to uh, uh, adhere with the specific structures of the other services of the other organisms just we see it in the next slide here is again the um, different sizes of the viruses how the viruses multiply inside the living cells using the host machinery we have already studied that viruses cannot multiply by themselves they need the host and they will multiply inside the host using the machinery of the host so how the virus use the machinery first of all the virus attaches to the cell surface of the host these are the spikes we already studied in the last slides these are the spikes which are helpful for the viruses so that the virus can use it uh, use these spikes to adhere the surface of the host so in this way it will be adhere in the host then the virus penetrates the cell membrane and injects inside the nucleic acid its nucleic acid may be the dna or rna with the cell to enter the inside then the virus nucleic acid take up the machinery of the host they take the control of the machinery of the host they use the machinery of the host to replicate and to multiply viral nucleic acid replicate using the host cellular machinery in this way after the multiplication the new viral nucleic acid are released inside the host and they are causing the disease more and more severe the new viral nucleic acids are packaged into the viral particles and released from the cell the host may be destroyed during all of this process so in this way the virus from the first step to the other step it just from the introduction point of view that how it take up the machinery of the host and it replicates which is different from the distinguishing which is one of the distinguished features of the viruses then the specialized structures of the viruses which are used and uh, maybe we can say these are also the present inside the viruses which are not present in the other microorganisms some of them the processes specialized structures they can trans transfer viral nucleic acids to other cells 
वन ऑफ देम इज ट्रांसडक्शन एंड अदर इज इंटेग्रेशन 